As most are already aware, far-fetched and sir-fetched the duck-like creatures that wield green onions as weapons. Many believe that the origin of these Pokemon stem from an old Japanese proverb, a duck comes bearing gifts, which is used when something happens that is both surprising and convenient. But why would an entire species of Pokemon latch onto this particular human phrase? Especially one that implies that they're willing to become our meals. No, the truth is far simpler and mundane. The Farfetch used to carry around a bunch of different objects until they finally settled on the long stringy vegetable. The earliest records show that these Pokemon used to carry bladed weapons. Back then, they were engaged in a turf war against Omanites and Omastars and they were responsible for their extinction. After realizing what they've done, they decided to abandon the sword and instead carried around hammers and mallets. This lasted briefly as it led to the extinction of the Kapatos and Kapatops who they were feuding with during this period. Haunted by their own actions, the far-fetched abandoned their weapons once more and went on sabbaticals en masse. It's not easy to live with yourself, knowing you're responsible for ending two different types of species. They sought spiritual guidance and forgiveness, but also a way to protect themselves without causing mass murder. They eventually returned after several years and this time they chose to carry wooden clubs. Believing that nothing could go wrong, they started beefing with the Aerodactyls and ended them completely. It didn't make any sense. Aerodactyls had a reputation for being tough and sturdy, but they all dropped like flies before the far-fetched. Instead of feeling guilty, they became angry. It felt as if the universe was against them and the far-fetched intended to win. So for the next million years, they wielded branches, sacks of flour, pillowcases, socks full of sand, stale baguettes, and magic carbs and ended many, countless Pokemon species. Soon they realized the startling truth. It was so obvious. They couldn't believe that it's taken them this long to finally understand. They were strong unreasonably strong. It didn't matter what they wielded, their swordsmanship made any weapons fatal in their wings. The only reasonable thing to do now is to go extinct themselves to atone for their sins. So they wandered into the forest to harvest some vegetables for their last meal before they condemned themselves. While they were picking some green onions, a band of scythers tried to ambush them and take their food supply. Taking a few more lives before they banished themselves wouldn't change a thing thought the far-fetched, so they brandished the stalks of green onions and took care of the scythers easily. To their astonishment, the scythers remained alive. The far-fetched immediately ditched all plans to perish and began collecting more green onions to arm themselves. And that's how they came to wield green onions as their primary weapons. Their entire struggle is on record as being the first instance of nature nerfing itself with patches until they finally struck the right balance. I'm a leftover sandwich crust and this has been another episode of Pokemon Facts. Stay tuned for more factual Pokemon Facts. Have a wonderful Pokemon day.